Thank you for tuning in to the Okinawa Karate Podcast. I am Josh Simmers, coming to you from the birthplace of karate, Okinawa, Japan. I am back at a familiar place, um, Nick's Sensei's Dojo oh, in yes. Okinawa City. Is this Okinawa, yeah, Okinawa City? Yeah. Yeah. Okinawa City. Yeah. 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 Um, we visited the Nick's Dojo um, back in October of last year. I, and we brought yes. the Oki Life crew with us. We did about two hours of filming and training. We actually got the Oki Life crew to come out from behind the camera and partake in some of the training. And don't you know it, technology is not our friend. <laughs> some hard drive issues, some <laughs> clinking and clanking on um, pieces of electronics that are not supposed to be making those noises. And we may have actually lost all of the footage. So we wanted to do the dojo <coughs> series followed by the sit down formal interview. We're switching that up a little bit, but Nick Sensei has already has said that we are graciously welcome back at any time. So any time. we're going to do some more already. filming here in the yeah, future. This is your home. So Thank you so much. We really <laughs> appreciate that. Really do. Four times now, five times yeah. I may have visited Four, five, the dojo, yeah. and uh, you have actually now. you've always made it feel like home. So <laughs> thank you so much. Really do appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure. Um, well, let's go back into the early days then, if you don't mind. Sure. Maybe when things weren't so busy for you. All right. And let's. Uh, hear Nick Sensei's story about uh, what got you started in the martial arts and uh, what what kept you in the martial arts and tell us a little about your background. Well, I tell you what, I, uh, my story probably starts off uh, like most, you know, as a small kid, young kid, skinny kid. I got tired of getting beat up you know, at school and, uh, and I have to say my very first uh, thought process about self-defense was watching a TV show. It's called it was called The Wild Wild West. You know, starring Robert Conrad. You know, so I would watch that TV show and it realized, wow, I need to know how to defend myself so I can stop these bullies from beating the crap out of me on a daily basis at school. So and I started doing that, watching that, and I started punching my doors and you know, punching, kicking anything that didn't move or <laughs> even even my brothers and sisters that did move, I still attacked them. You know, to keep myself uh, you know, in, in practice, but uh, uh, then, you know, I really got serious in the martial arts is when I was 13 years old, and I seen my, I seen, I seen, I watched my very first Kung Fu movie, mm -hmm. you know, and it's Five Fingers of Death, okay. you know, so it was uh, one of our favorites. Well, that was one of my favorites. <clears throat> yeah, one of my favorites, you know, and I went, oh my gosh, that's what I've been looking for. Well, it was not long after that, there was a, uh, a free class that happened to, to pop up at the local recreation center. So I said, oh, cool, I said, oh, that's my, that's, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It was five miles away, so I would either run or I'd ride my bicycle there. And there were 60 of us in this class. There was, it was packed, it was packed. It barely had room, enough room. After three years of training, I was the only original there. Wow. You know, everyone else had said, wait, but this is not for me. This is too much work. This is too hard. Oh my God, we have to sweat. Yeah. Yeah, we got to stretch. We got to punch. We got to kick. We got to fight. So, uh, but that's, and my very first style was not Okinawan style. It was Chinese style. Mm -hmm. It was uh, Chinese Kempo, Chao Yun Fa. You know, and my Sifu's name was Roby Kirby. And uh, Roby Kirby and I, we become uh, very, very close. He become like my father figure. You know, I was not well off when I was young. I didn't have a lot of money, you know, and I, he, we, he knew that, he realized that. So he had me and instead of, got to a point where he got, you know, got his own dojo mm -hmm. and started charging. But he had always, he would have me clean in the dojo mm -hmm. because he knew I couldn't pay. So that's how it sort of started off. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I loved every second of it, mm -hmm. you know, and from, from, 13 to 18, that's what I did. I trained with, with, with Chinese Kempo. That's a that's the prime time for, for someone to be training, in my opinion, mm. uh, when you're, you're going through such a growth period, especially as a boy. Um, but it's interesting because that's usually the time when we lose students, oh, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it is. Yes, yes. It is. Mm -hmm. Because you get the, the teenage years, you got mm -hmm. people who are going and dating and this. I fell in love with it. Even now, my friends back from high school that I'm still friends with a lot of friends and you know even now they say gee Ron you know even back then you knew what you wanted to do very few people knew that you know I said but I was I was so in love with it I just I mean I could not I could not stop training even you know 
you're going out on your dates, you have this going on, you got all kinds of social events going on as a kid, you know, but I, I trained, I trained, I'd be punching the bag, my front yard was, what well, was used to have grass, it was all dirt <laughs> after me, I'm out there kicking up and down every day, I wouldn't miss, you know, uh, I, I had, I wanted to be the best plus, you know, and, you know, uh, then that's when the Bruce Lee movies come out yeah. and this and that. And a lot of tournaments started coming up. We had a lot of tournaments. So uh, it seemed like every other weekend we were at another tournament. So I would be training hard to go to these tournaments. And I was, you know, at the lower belt. Then I remember uh, making my black belt. I went to a karate tournament as a brown belt. Been a brown belt for a couple of years. And, uh, and I went in, I did very well. Actually, I got first place. He goes, ah. Oh. So my seafood will be critical. Oh, very good. Congratulations. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I just signed you up for black belt. <laughs> he goes, here you go. He gives me the black belt. Now, I just went through, yeah. you know, yeah. more or less hell, <laughs> you know, the, the, the brown belt fighting. Now I had to fight the brown, the black belts come out. And this is Kumite. This is fighter. Yeah. This was fighter. So I went from fighting all the brown belts, did very well. Then I went to fight the black belts. So, and, you know, that's how I, I got my black belt. The, the fighting at that time, Sensei, was uh, any protected gear? Uh, no, you had, you had the, the safety punch, six, it was just coming out, but most people didn't use it. It was a shin pad, you know, and that was about it. And so, we, were, we were plowing yeah. each other. It was pretty painful. Was it still considered point? And you still had to earn points. Yes. It was not the goal was not to knock the person out. Right. If right. it happened, it happened. Per, right. Perhaps. Yeah. But it was still a point system. It's still a point system, but uh, it was very, very lax. Yeah. Very lax. To see, I mean, I seen a lot of the of my situations. And a lot of people were all the ground a yeah. lot of times, and I was there a couple times myself. <laughs> but but that's how I learned. Because that's so I know if you win or learn. I know that, that if you win or you lost the situation. Uh, then you know what you have to do for the next time. So that sort of encouraged me to train harder mm -hmm. for the next time. Because I know there are some tough guys out there, you know, especially when you're doing black belts. Mm -hmm. and these, you know, you've, you've got three years, four years, five years of training. These guys got 20, 20 plus mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. So, but it made me train hard. Mm -hmm. So, and I... And these were open style? Open. Open style. Open style. So, you know, you had from Taekwondo to any other style mm -hmm. that happens to be around. Mm -hmm. you know, so to me, that was the best way. The blood sport. <laughs> the blood yeah. sport. <laughs> the is, you know, uh, in the Karate Dojo, you, know, you, know, you train with everybody, you start to know each other's you know, uh, movements, they start to know your movements, and yep. you know, then it all changes when you step out of, the, of your dojo you know, and you go to a Karate tournament. You know, now you're fighting, from, you're fighting people from you've never seen. He, he could be the next Chuck Norris of Bruce Lee, you don't know that until you're after fighting him. So you need to come, you need to bring your best game, because if not, he is, and he's gonna let you know about it very quickly. Yeah. So that's what I loved about it. You know, and I, uh, I had a couple of my friends, uh, we, were, we were inseparable, you know, in the, in, in the tournaments and, you know, in the dojo, we were, uh, we were really tight, so we were, we was always training for that situation, you know. Wow. But, were you, you were also doing kata or learning kata at that time or yes. forms I guess yes we were called forms called? Yeah. Okay. yeah we called it forms yeah I always hated it did you I hated kata I hated the forms <laughs> I hated it you know and uh, I've learned to love them now <laughs> but I still have you know of course I, you know fighting has always been my my forte I've always liked to, I love to do that and Brandon is and Brandon he's he's equally as good at fighting as he is at kata, yep. as he is at weapons, you know. So he's complete all around, it, you know. Being as young as he is, you know, so it, it took me quite a few years to, to sort of see the, the kata aspect of it. So, so after you um, were in the Chinese Kempo system mm -hmm. for a while, at what point did you start to branch out into different styles? Was that when the military came mm -hmm. into your life? Well. Uh, I was getting ready to uh, graduate high school, you know, and even a couple of years out before that, I knew what I needed to do. I needed to move away from this area, and the only way to do that, because I didn't have any money, I didn't have a situation. Jobs are very scarce, and, not, and the jobs you did have was very, very minimal, minimal pay. So the military was my, was my focus, just to join the military. And of course, I went and looked at them all, yep. and, I, and I picked the Air Force. 
you know, and, and the Air Force, uh, I have to say the military gave me everything I needed to know to be where I need to be. Because I wanted to go, of course, to doing martial arts, you want to go to the, you know, to the Orient, you yes. want to go to Asia, you know, so my very first, you know, you know, you sign up and want to go to Okinawa, Japan, yeah. Korea, Korea, Philippines, you know, all these, all the, all these areas, you know, and luckily I got Okinawa. So after high school, uh, joined the Air Force. I mean, I was, you know, you graduate high school in what, June, and yep. by September I'm in the Air Force. So yep. I'm, I'm 18 years old. I think I turned 19 in basic training. Yep. Yeah. So and. They said, well, you're going to Okinawa. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. You know, and I was like, it was, it was my dream come true because, you know, living in North Carolina, you know, I've always lived in that area. I wanted to see what the world yeah. was about. And the best way to do that, like most people when they join the military, is to see the world, yeah. Yeah. you know. And, and I think the military brought us together. Yeah. You know, it brought me to Okinawa, you know, and... Uh, in Okinawa. What year was it when you got here the first time? Uh, 19, uh, 1978, February. February. 1978, and up until that point, you had only Chinese Kempo training. Mm -hmm. But when you got here, yes. what did you do? Well, I, when I first got here, my very f within three months, I was in a, a local tournament <laughs> off base. <laughs> No, the very first time I'm looking, boom, 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 boom. And that's the very first thing I do because now I have my Chinese outfit on and I'm fighting the, the Okinawan stylist, you know. So, uh, and, but I, I knew, you know, as I started doing these tournaments, I started meeting different people, you know. And when you meet different people, it puts you on a different path, it gives you a different thought process. And my brother-in-law now, you know, his name is Robert Taylor, we all know him, super nice guy, and he trained in Okinawan style, you know, and this was actually after I had seen Bob at a tournament, you know, I had after, it was the same time I seen her okay. at a karate tournament. Because she had come to watch a cut out the tournament. Okay. On the just base. To watch. Just, just to watch. She was on she was she was in the bleachers with her niece. You know, when Bob was there, Robert, Robert was there, and I look up and I see her and I went, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it was, it was, she, you know, she had seen me, you know, because I, and I would look a little, that, I looked a little different because I had my, my Kung Fu stuff on, yeah. you know, and I looked different from everybody else and I probably stood out like a sore thumb, yep. you know, and. And I seen her, and uh, she seen me. But then the term was finished. We we sort of left, you know. But it wasn't until I met her then I Robert and I start to talk about Okinawa karate because he was training with Sensei Kina Masanobu Kina okay. at the time. You know, and Sensei uh, Taylor he has trained with you know a lot of the great masters before that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Kisei and Nagazato and mm -hmm. quite a few others, and uh, so and. Robert and I, we would always butt heads because I was always Chinese style, he was Okinawan style, you know. But, you know, but in reality, the Chinese style and the Okinawan style is fairly close. Yeah. You know, it's sort of, because the Okinawans and the Chinese sort of, that, that's what happened back in the old days. They sort of exchanged their ideas for training, you know, they traded between each other and also trained yep. with each other. So uh, then Robert goes, you know, why don't you come down to my class? And I said, Okay, I'll go down to your your, your karate class. <laughs> you know, you know, I'll bring my sign. <laughs> this time the reading paper. <laughs> it's the good old days. You know, of course I'm only I'm nineteen, twenty years old. I'm very young. And I came in out, we just started dating. Okay. <clears throat> so I went down to the, the class and you know, since Akina I called him Rock Face. Oh God! Yeah, because okay, he see never. See. Okay, now I see that. Yeah, really. Yeah, he never. He had that strange look on his face. He never really. He didn't talk too much. Mm -hmm. He just demonstrated yeah, and looked at you weird. Never yeah. never <laughs> like smiled. you know, like you got a problem with me? <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I went in there. Of course, if I have you know, you know, six, seven years of martial arts training on the Chinese side, side, but then you know, got in there, he come in and. 
he would just give me, just give me heck. Mm -hmm. You know, he would just, just look at me and go, ah, oh, he's mm -hmm. no good. I'm oh, dummy, mm -hmm. dummy. You know, I'm like, I'm down the sheep of arts. I'm like, oh, he's one thing. He always does that to people. Yeah. <laughs> He just wants to see how long you're going to last. Yeah. Standing on the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, he's, oh, he would stand on him. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Hit me and kick me. And, uh -huh. and I'm like, but after about two or three months, I'd always show up. I'd always mm -hmm. show up. Then he used to realize it was okay. All right. He's, I think he, he's not going to, he's not going to quit on me. So, so he sort of, sort of veered off to the next beginner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, thank God. So. But it was short-lived because, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, even less than a year uh, mm -hmm. since Akina passed away through a terrible accident mm -hmm. in the ocean. Oh, you know, right. so it was really bad. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was sort of. What well, the thing is? Yeah, yeah. The thing is, it's uh, you always you take your sensations for granted. Mm -hmm. You always think they're always going to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, you always think they're going to be. They're sensei. Mm -hmm. They are bigger than life. I mean, these people. Are going to live forever, and you really realize it's it's, it's not the case. It things change. You know, one one mistake, one situation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, no fault of his own. You know, it just happened, and and and, and, and it was wow. it's a bad day. But you know, but I I really appreciate like Robert Taylor and you know and uh, since Akina put me on the path to the Okinawa style. It wasn't until I trained, I started training in Okinawa style, so I understood about kata. Because I'm in his class, and we did some fighting, but we did a lot, a lot more kata. Mm -hmm. And we had a really big tournament coming up. And of course, that was my thing. So I'm focused in, boom, 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 boom. So we, I was doing a lot of, a lot of kata, a lot of kata, a lot of kata. You know, then I went to this tournament, and I was sort of amazed that I was so much faster and more precise, more to the point than ever before. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I've done different than in, in the past was training the kata aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So I really believe that the kata mm -hmm. helped sort of, you know, uh, just point me in the right direction for my, for my techniques. Mm -hmm. And streamline, that's probably the perfect word, streamline mm -hmm. my technique. You know, from getting from point A to point B and getting back. You know, because as you know, when you yeah. when you're sparring, you're fine. You got to be able to get in, get out. Yeah. You know, and uh, exchange and whatever. And and back in those days, it was hard fight. Even some of my hardest punches I've ever received. You know, I did some full contact also, but some of my hardest punches and kicks it was come out of supposedly light to medium contact. Yeah. I mean, you get blasted. You can get blasted. You know, and. Uh, so, but that tournament, I was able to go and uh, did, I did very, very well and, and everything. So I enjoyed that. And what style was that? What style of karate did you uh, Short and Short and So Ryu. that was your first introduction to yes. Short and Ryu. And I tell you what, what I loved about Sensei Kina's class, this particular Short was just all, because in Short and Ryu, like in other styles, a lot of different uh, styles of Short and Ryu. You know, uh, we had a little deeper stance like we did in the Chinese style. Okay. So it sort of fit me really well. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of Okinawan styles are more stand-up, you know, they'll stand up more, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they'll have a more upright stance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that works good for a lot of people too, but I was sort of used to staying down low, you know, training my legs hard. Then when it come to fight, then I would come up a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and then I was, I felt faster because I, I was training harder. Okay. It's like doing that, you know, if I'm gonna run a mile, I'm really gonna train for three miles. Yes. So that yeah. way I can really put 100% in that, in that right. one mile. Right. Yeah, but it was, uh, it, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Good. And, and, and also, in, uh, we had what we had, we called the Okinawa Karate Referees Association. We started in 1979, 1980. You know, and, uh, and what we did was uh, we took all the black belts that was on Okinawa who wanted to, to, you know, establish this organization. We brought them all in. We had, we wrote up bylaws. We had 
tournaments every three months. Military. And it was the military, you know, I was dealing with the military. Uh, but also, it, we also opened up to Oak and Islands too and, uh, and, and did a lot of that, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, but uh, we, had a, we, we had a full contact team that we had, the Okinawans had a full contact team. And it's not only the Okinawa, we also got the uh, other, uh, we got Korea, Korea, we got the Philippines involved also. So we started to reach them out, you know, and Tony Marquez, I'll give him a lot of credit. He was the founder. You know, Tony no, Marquez. Yeah, yeah. And Anthony, Anthony Marquez. Marquez. He, was Anthony. At, he came to the World Tournament Tur last World year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Super nice guy. Oh, okay, yes, yeah. first place. Yep. Yes, yes, that very good. Him. Tony Marquez. You know, really, really super guy, you know, and he and I worked very well together. We were like the founders, okay. you know, he was, it was his brainstorm, it was his baby mm -hmm. to bring this, pe to bring everything in together. Because, mm -hmm. because every tournament, what happens is a lot of tournaments, they had different rules. Yeah, different, right. And then everybody was sort of confused. This brought everybody together, so now everybody had the same rules. So it doesn't matter where you went. Everybody had the same rules, so you didn't have to. You didn't have. Uh, you had a very small learning curve each time you, you went someplace. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, I have a picture of that's the Habu team in the back. Oh uh, yeah. I'll show it to you later yeah. on. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the that's the team. That was nineteen eighty. Team Habu. Yeah. <laughs> team Habu <laughs> was cool. Yeah, and, we, yeah. and, and we were undefeated. We were undefeated by, by a team. We, we fought. You know. The Marine team, we fought the Okinawan team, we fought the Filipino really team. Yeah. Ambrance. Ambrance was there, Dr. was <laughs> there, then the day waiting. Yeah, oh, so my goodness. what did you think about this? How did you feel seeing him go out there to fight? He, oh, the, every time he uh, go to the tournament, and, and after that we end up to the emergency. Yeah. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Something's <laughs> broken. Something's broken. Yeah. <laughs> and you were okay with this? The, at the time, you know, I was not doing the, you know, the karate, but uh, you know, I'm just there for support. Mm -hmm. She and, did. She supported me. And, yeah, well. I, I know he likes it, and then uh, that's how I met him, and uh, through the karate. So not me to say no to him. So let's let's back up a little bit here because this is the first time I've sat down with a family for an interview, mm -hmm. and, okay. and we we have to get yes. to this point. You had you had spoke briefly about seeing Mr. Kimi at a. At a tournament, mm -hmm. uh, and then she went her way, you went yours, and then yeah. at some point you had to come back together and meet. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, what happened was, just after a week or two after the tournament, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I I like to go dancing. No, like no, tournament was May. Yeah, yeah, yeah but two May. months, two months. Yeah, a couple months after, you know, then. You know, I, it was, the disco was a big thing back oh, then. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. too bad you missed it, Josh. Oh, well, it was so much I think, fun. We got, I think we caught the tail end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so much fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Disco, well, disco. so the term disco, right? When I got here, they were still using the term right. the wow. disco, but it, it wasn't disco dancing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. There was yeah. this um, big time disco. Out yeah, there. over here on the back side of. The, I see the back side of yeah. Pyramid, yeah. yes, yeah. Manhattan. Yes. 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 Oh yeah. Very good. Uh, you remember I may have met my, my better half or you okay. know, you <laughs> Wait, the pyramid? Manhattan. Manhattan. Uh, Manhattan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey. Well see, we had the Hilton Hotel was yeah. on uh Disco Den. Yeah. It was called the the Den. Okay. Yeah. And it was it was expensive. You know, it was expensive. Well, you, you're talking, you know, 1979, mm -hmm. 78, 79. Mm -hmm. You know, you're talking 2,500 yen to get in. Wow. That, that was time. expensive. Oh. It, it's even expensive now. Yeah. So that back then, back then, then that's no. like, that is the price right now. Yeah. Current now the exchange rate was probably a little yeah. bit different. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the the dollars a year. That's how much. Even my age people, guys, have to pay guys, two thousand five hundred. Yeah, there was just that things now. because at the time uh, the dollar one dollar to the three hundred sixty. Well, two sixty. Two sixty. Yeah. Yeah. So he 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 grew he grew for that. Yeah. 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 And I went up there, and I look around. I'm dancing, and I look around. And I went. I know this. And there she was. Uh -huh. I went. Oh my gosh! There she was. Yeah. I mean, that's the girl from the tournament. She looked at me. I looked at her. I smiled. She smiled. I went over, talked to her. I, I, I'll tell you, Josh. You know, I'm going to tell you right now. It's. Uh, I know some people don't believe in uh, you know love at first sight, but when I seen her at the tournament, I could never. 
you know, it's all mm-hmm. one of those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, uh, you know, you think about that, you mm-hmm. think about that. But then when I seen her that second time, that, there's no way she was gonna get away. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, so I, I, I fell in love with her that, at that time, you know, and, and well, after, well, 40, yes. well, well, it's uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day coming up next month. We'll be married for 40 years. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> 40 years. That's fantastic. Yeah, so. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. And I've enjoyed every moment of it, you know, and we've, we've always, we work together now. We, uh, we, you know, we, we don't, if I'm going somewhere, she's going with me. <laughs> you know, if, if she goes somewhere and without me, it's sort of strange. Everyone says, where's your husband? Mm-hmm. Or where's your wife at? You know, so it's we, we're always together because it's it's who we are. So at what at what point did did you start to train? Was he begging you to train? Were you interested? Mm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He, so he, I need some first, advice. I'm asking because I need advice on yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get some. No, <laughs> when he first uh, the well, first time we met, he asked me if I do karate because uh, that place uh, where we met was the, the karate anyway. I said no. Well, why? He called all Okinawa and do the karate. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah that's because what that's, what, that's, yeah, what that's, what that's what he thought, right? That's what he you thought. Yeah, everybody yeah. Everyone's karate, karate because he's Okinawa. Yeah. Okinawa. So he asked me, why are you not doing karate? Because I said, why? Do, 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 do I supposed to? You know? <laughs> and, uh, but but uh, he kept on asking me. Then and then he never pushed hard. But he always go to the training and I come back. I'm there, you know. Then I I realize and I said, this guy is, you know, uh, what makes him train so hard? Mm-hmm. And then uh, they come home late from training, mm-hmm. and we just got married, and he let me just to to, to stay at home by myself for two three hours, and then uh, what's the karate is mm-hmm. meant to him, you know, mean to him. So. I started once to, to find out and I go with him to how he training. Mm-hmm. So I just started watching two, three hours. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to tell her. Okay. All right. She, she was not the strongest person. Oh. She was very, I'm so her body was sort of weak. <laughs> I mean, I, when we went, okay, in, in 81, I got, we we're going to PCS. We got married in 1980. In 81, we're going to PCS. So Texas. we're going to go to Texas. You know, and I said, you know, I want to take her to the gym. So, you know, I said, let's do a little, just a little jog. Right from here. So we're doing a little jog and she's behind me. And I look back and she's in a, she had fell over the ditch. Mm-hmm. She had like passed out or something. Oh. And I'm like, you know, it, it was like a, like a, like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like 30 seconds. I'm just running. <laughs> I said, oh, and I realized, I'm like, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, here's what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna start going to the gym a little bit, we're gonna start doing a little bit, we're gonna walk a little bit, we're gonna do this, mm-hmm. we're, gonna, we're gonna go to an exercise class. Mm-hmm. Then it got to a point where she really started, she was getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Mm-hmm. And on, then, luckily, within two and a half years, we come back to Okinawa in 84. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. So we spent two and a half years in Del Rio, Texas, come back in 84. Well, then within a couple of years, she started doing, going down to Sensei Thomas class. Because mm-hmm. so actually, you know. 86, I said. Yeah, 86. Mm-hmm. You know, because I, I met Sensei Toma before we PCS yep. out. Mm-hmm. Because Sensei you know, Kina had passed away. Mm-hmm. Robert Taylor and I, we didn't have, uh, we didn't have a Sensei. You know, and Robert worked with one of the guys, you know, Satoshi. Okay. You know, uh, he was the ambulance driver. And okay. he said, well, let me introduce you to my sensei, so he was Sensei Toma. Sensei Toma. So uh, Sensei Toma come in, and Sensei Toma, you know, he, he come in like this. He's like, he's a linebacker. He was a tank. He was a tank. Yeah. Yeah. I went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, and he, and he was really humble, very nice, a lot of smiles. Since they told me, did a lot of smiling. Yeah, he and he, he smiled probably you know ninety percent of the time mm-hmm. until he couldn't no more. Then he, then you didn't want to see him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't want to see that side. Mm-hmm. So we made sure we stayed on the smiling side. But you know, and and that's sort of how I got with Cynthia Toma. I was able to train with him for about a year before I PCSed out. Okay. So in eighty in eighty four when we come back, of course, 
uh, when I first get back, I'm, I'm get put on swing shifts, so I couldn't train. So for about a year, I couldn't even go down to Sensei oh. Thomas' place. I, he knew I was back. I went down and told him I want to, I want, I want to train him, but I'm working night shift. But then I finally got on day shift. So when I got back on day shift, I was able to go back down there. But I've all, of course, I was always training by myself. Mm -hmm. You know, so by '85, I was back down in Sensei Thomas, and she started in '86. Okay. And I remember we have some pictures and videos mm -hmm. of her doing. Doing Yakusu Kumite and doing the yeah. kata and stuff, yeah, yeah, being so young. And, and and the thing is, and that's and that's how the seed got planted with her, you know. Then she thought that from then on she always trained, yep. you know. So and you know, I remember since they told me, telling me, you know, I'm down there and I'm happy. I'm happy in his dojo. I'm training, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights from seven to nine. Boom, boom, boom. He told me, oh, you do it very good. You need to start a class. Yes, sensei. So I said, well, Sensei says I need to start a class, so yeah. I do what Sensei says. <laughs> it's about that simple, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, what's we'll that little thing on Facebook, you know, when everything fails, you know, do what your Sensei what says. Sensei said, yep. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> do what your Sensei says. So that's what I did. So I started to train, you know, got a class downtown. Uh, well, I should say on base, Okay. you know, and yep. but I was still going downtown and train with Sensei mm -hmm. Toma. Yep. So, five to seven at my class, then I'd run up to Sensei Thomas' class yep. for seven to mm -hmm. nine. So I'd be doing a four hour class. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what, <laughs> I was, it was, <sighs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, because I love fighting. So I'll be doing a lot of fighting down in my class and come up to there and do a lot of content still. And Sensei Thomas, he sort of like me having me up there because I'd, I would instigate the fights and the uh, sparring and okay. everything. So I made sure everybody got the sparring and the body touch and the push-ups the stretch, you know, and uh, I, I'm sort of physical. I like physical yeah. things, you know, and since they told me we'd be teaching the, the technical of the kata, the yep. techniques and this and that, but we worked really well together. But I did that as long as I could. <laughs> After a while, yeah. so it gets it gets tough. It up with you. But she, 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 you know, always trained with me, you know, yeah, or since, downtown, you know. Mm -hmm. Only time I, I, I stopped training when I had a ham. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. Uh, the Brandon was born in 1990. 1990. Uh -huh. yeah. 1990 to 1992, two years maybe mm -hmm. I was yeah. off the yeah. training. Yeah, and so uh, that's about it. Yeah. And I'm keeping training. Yeah. So for 10 years before we had Brandon, it was we were married for 10 years, mm -hmm. but it felt like we were just on a big date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it all changed when da 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 da. Yeah. We had yeah, so the one. Yeah. 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 The history moved to the history 1990. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were allowed to take a two year break yeah. Yeah. from the dojo. Yeah. Yeah. And then after after that time, you do you remember anything in life with not being in the dojo? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was born you with it. in the dojo. <laughs> It's that free tool you get in the Happy Meal. You don't want it anymore, but it just tags along, right? It, it comes with it. It just comes with it, you know? Yeah, but ever since I was born, I remember I was punching, kicking since yeah. I was one, two years old. Yeah, kicking yeah. The, the Hulk, the Hulk, uh, you know, the airbag. And <laughs> so what are you just yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I was punching, kicking, yeah. watching Ultraman come in right eye, yeah. and TV show doing da da da, and he's always doing kicking, punching, oh, yeah. and, and you know, the next thing I know, first grade in you know, 1997, mm -hmm. this dojo was built, and then mm -hmm. I joined. I was the first one Still in the class. <laughs> we the, the first the first floor. We only had like six, seven kids, and a couple kids in my mm -hmm. elementary school. Yeah, and a couple neighborhood kids, and we just jumped yeah. in and hopped in and just punching <sighs> kicks and you know like the old you know punching kicking the you know the, the noodles. Yes, the, the noodles. Oh, stuff, yeah. and mm -hmm. Then learn how to do a front kick, mosh giddy, yoko giddy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And hire the belt and so did you go to Japanese school or on base so 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 when I when I was born I just you know I went through the whole Japanese school system mm -hmm. blah 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 went to first grade second grade in Japanese mm -hmm. school then next thing I know it was see I, I was small and I, I couldn't really remember but they always told yeah. me that I had a rough time to Communicating in yeah. English mm. with my dad because I was I was always surrounded by the local kids. Sure, yeah. of course. I'm in Okinawa, mm -hmm. Japanese, Okinawan mm -hmm. things. The next thing I know, I'm struggling with English. Mm -hmm. and I was really struggling 
struggling with English, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna put you into、uh, Yom, <laughs> in Yomitan in the Okinawa Christian School,"、mm-hmm. and I hated it. <laughs> I hated it because I was. I'm here. The、yeah. school's right there.、Okay. My friends are here.、Yeah. Why do I have to go all the way to Yomitan and、mm-hmm. yeah. in front of? I, I can't even speak English. But then I went there. I was supposed to go in third grade. My English skills were、mm-hmm. so low that they had to push me back down second、mm-hmm. grade. Yeah. 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 Then I was like. So I'm, I'm I'm stuck with kids that are, you know are younger than me,、yeah. and I can't communicate with them. I'm like, man, this sucks.、Yeah. But next thing I know, I got friends. I、yeah. come back here. Yeah, the kids are still here. I still did karate class. I'm like,、oh、then all of a sudden my English is getting better,、yeah. and now my English is better than my Japanese. Exactly. Then it's just like roll down, and that's it. That works well. Easy, easy. That works very well. Yeah. It's always that you know that that stage of just going from this from、uh, this、yep. to that.、Yep. You know, it's always that learning curve and doing this and doing that. You know, but、yeah. uh, I knew he would. You know, Brandon's very. You know, he's very. You know, he, even at a very small age, one or two years old, he was speaking very well.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, oh so, yeah, I was yeah. outgoing, but yeah, yeah. I was always made a lot of friends. But yeah,、mm-hmm. yeah. It, it, I still remember it was a rough time going to a different school. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then then I just graduated that school. Then I just kept with training. But I think one time. I stopped training for a little bit. That teenager phase. Oh, it's so much、yeah, to hear about that. Yeah, yeah. What, that's what I'm, I, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that、no, you stopped. No,、so. I, I, I remember that time though when I was in my teens that I was like, you know what, like, I was born with it, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing. Then I, I think I, I did. That long. Yeah, it wasn't that long though, but like short not、yeah, a short, short time. Short, short time. Yeah, short, short time, short. but it felt <clears throat> forever because、mm-hmm. this is this was、yeah. what I know.、Mm-hmm. I, I were, like、yeah. for like a three four months break is like、mm-hmm. it's weird. Yeah. Then the next thing I know, the, the people that I trained with was in here, and I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I got I got to snap back at it. You know,、yeah. like. What did you think, like, Sensei? When, but you know,、uh, I, I knew it, and like every teenager, you know. <laughs> I know he he wasn't like I was, because you know、uh, when I was growing up and I was still focused then. But he had a lot of things. He had his music going on. He had、like, social life and this、mm-hmm. stuff going on. And you know, and, and it was a growing period for him. You know, so sometimes、uh, the best thing that you can do is less control. Less control is is better. So let him sort of find out by himself. Because I used to take him to the to the gym at fifteen. You know, he was getting he was getting、mm-hmm. strong and then. He, we, we'd wrestle him around in the living room.、Mm-hmm. I remember one time I thought he broke my back. Fifteen years old, he was getting so strong. <clears throat> But then, you know, of course, he got to his music and this and that, and all of a sudden, it, 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 it kind of got me away from the physical side because I was、yeah. more focused on the music. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to play music. You know, that was the, when I was in high school. That was a popular thing.、Mm-hmm. I, I think nowadays is more everyone's doing sports. But you know, the main reason I want to do music is this. I want to get the, that girl, or I want to, you know, I want to be in a band. It was, it was like, it was a, the perfect situation. So I kind of got away for a little bit. Then I was just playing music. Then I was like, dude, I, I gotta go back. Then, then, then I noticed how to multitask. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah. okay, I can practice guitar. Okay, nighttime I can do this. Okay. Then everything started blossoming. Yeah. You know, But the thing is, he, he was sort of got out of the gym and got into sort of like the, the typical, you know, skinny kid. You know, he still he's still punching and kicking and stuff, but he didn't have that power and stuff.、Mm-hmm. You know, then we would grapple down. I would just tie him and knot. He goes, man, he needed, he needed to do this. So I think he's like,、huh. so. But for the last three or four years now, he's been in the gym.、Uh-huh. You know,、mm-hmm. he's sort of been pumping it up and doing that now. He scares me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's my friend、yeah. now. <laughs> I'm gonna make him my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I see some pictures every once in a while of your Friday night sessions in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're always hitting the pads. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think because you know the Mondays and Wednesday class, you know, we have everybody together. We have the white belts and, and people that who don't know how to throw a punch or how、mm-hmm. to throw a kick. Do the basics. Do the air. Do the shadow. I guess you can call it shadow.、Mm-hmm. Um, shadow boxing. You know. Do your own thing.、Mm-hmm. Then Fridays, you know, it's not a technically, it's not a class. It's a session. Yeah. yeah. So it's like you can make it. You don't have to be here. Yeah. If you, you want to get a sweat in, we、uh, do we do sparring or we do hit the bag, we hit the pads. You know,、yeah. just cardio workout, just do rounds and rounds and rounds and and just gets the physical. You know, you know the whole、yep. aspect of、yep. fighting. You know. Yeah. Just step number one. I don't care.、Uh, you know. Back to the martial arts side of it, so it doesn't matter which martial arts you, you do. You know, you, you need to have some stamina. 
Yes. You need to be able to have some power. You need to have some speed. Yeah. You need to have some agility. You know, and even then, you got to bring take all those things. You got to bring them all together yep. in what you do. You know, and and if you don't have one of those, if you don't have stamina, I'm gonna find out really fast how your stamina is. And I'm gonna press you. You know, if you don't have power, if you don't have speed, I'm gonna figure that out. And I'm gonna try to export it against you. The, the good thing that he says all the time is, you can read a book about swimming. You can be a professional from mm -hmm. chapter one to chapter ninety nine. You can you you read about swimming. He said, I am I am a professional at swimming. Yep. <laughs> but when you never get in the water, yep. when you get in the water, you're like. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you don't know what to do, so yeah. you have to be in that situation. I've kind of pushed myself in here three times a week, yeah. four times a week, and okay, go to the gym, can now come to class, do some striking, do some toy day, do some weapons, do some kata, and you know, get that whole foundation, that core. Mm -hmm. and, and Friday nights, Friday nights, is, it's, 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 the session is not me, it's him, yeah. it's, it's, it's him, it's yeah. he, he's it's, pushing it's, it, he's, mm -hmm. he's telling, hey, since they tried this area, mm -hmm. so I'm doing some different things, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, he, he puts me, you know, uh, puts me in an uncomfortable situation, but then, goes, the only way to make something comfortable is practicing, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so then your umbrella gets bigger, you know, at first you have a really small umbrella, yeah. you know, this is the only thing that's comfortable, but then as you continue to train, you know, your, your umbrella gets much bigger. So and, uh, that's what Brandon does, helps me out a lot. So since uh, you have class, your formal class sitting now is how many days a week? It's three days. Three days a week. It's a Monday and uh, actually, uh, actually it's four days because I'm talking, uh, because it depends, Including I got kids, I got kids and adults. So kids and adults, I got four days. Okay. So it's, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What's the youngest age that you take in here? Five. Five. Five years old. I found out that five year olds. And they can do good. Do, it's, it's a big difference from five year olds to four year olds. No, yeah. Some four year olds, some four year olds can, depends on how they are at home, you know, how moms it. and dads. We, we tried it at three, four years old. Mm. I, I can tell my son's four years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like, and I was like, oh, next year. <laughs> yeah. Next year. <laughs> yeah. 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 So he's doing punching. Yeah, he's doing punching, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. next year. Yeah. He's doing punching. Yeah, it's a big different from four to five. Yeah. It is Very big. few four year olds can come in. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some, some parents, you mm -hmm. know, they, they do that with their kids. And they're like, four year olds are good. Mm -hmm. Then I have some six and seven year olds mm -hmm. cannot do it. Mm -hmm. They go, but then the yeah. parents baby them too much mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, and then all of a sudden now the parents want to know why mm -hmm. they're not coming in, mm -hmm. they're not doing their own thing because they're all clingy. You know, so you sort of have to, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it's like the animals. The yeah. animals at a certain time, the animals know when to push, mm -hmm. you know, the birds sure. out of the nest, sure. boom. Because, you know, uh, uh, that's a perfect situation. A bird will push off their yeah. the off the cliff. So okay, now you got to learn how to fly now. Yeah. Fly falling. Oh, you didn't make it. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Next year, yeah. you're next. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I got it, Mom. I got it. Can, can we do this tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and the thing is, and it's sad. A lot of you know, a lot of uh, a lot of human beings these days, we're, we've gone to the to the lax side and you know, yeah, sort of you know, baby too much. You know, computer you know, too you know, much. Yeah. So. Uh, Everything's changing now. Yeah. So, speaking of changing, uh, I think it's been two or three years now that you've, you and I want to say to my sensei, mm -hmm. have formed uh, a kind of an international mm -hmm. yes. organization. Let's yeah. Talk about yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, this particular organization, the Seiju Kan uh, Kokusai Budo Rinbokai. Uh, it's also, uh, Robert Taylor is also a part of it. You know, we all sit down and we've sort of seen a, a need for a lot of people lose their senseis, their Okinawa senseis from the States or whatever, and they, they lose, and all of a sudden they lose their contact to, mm -hmm. to Okinawa. Mm -hmm. that's, one, Okinawa. that's one main reason why we wanted to mm -hmm. do it is to, to, to provide a road, mm -hmm. you know, I, uh, I, I, Guideline uh, mm -hmm. uh, to to Okinawa mm -hmm. and people who are interested, you know, they can uh, they can join. We have a number of people to join now, and uh, of course it's uh, it's it's tough. Sometimes we have seminars. We just had a seminar in two thousand eighteen, mm -hmm. 
I was very large say, seminar here, right? Yeah, in yep. 2018. I was going to say last year, but now I got to realize it's 2020 now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so we had it in 2018. Mm -hmm. You know, in October it was great. We had about 100 people here from from Poland, from the States, from Puerto Rico, yeah. from from all over Africa. To Africa come in, you know, and sort of, you know, and support the, the seminar. It was fantastic. And what we normally do, even if we have a SABACON seminar, uh, we sort of, when people come to Okinawa, we have the Okinawans. We go out and we uh, have, you know, Kakinamana sensei. Mm -hmm. You know, we have mm -hmm. uh, some of the other senseis, local senseis come in and teach the mm -hmm. classes. We have them eating bentos. We want them to have the full Okinawan experience. Yep. And the alliance, the wrinkle cut, which means alliance. What I love about the alliance is, you know, it's like, uh, it's like NATO. You know, this country, this country, this country, we all come together, we train together, but then after the training, we all go back to our own mm -hmm. countries and do our own thing. That way it makes things, you know, no one's in no one else's business. Mm -hmm. I don't tell no one what to do and how they want to do that. You know, they, they do what they want to do and how they want to run their classes and this and that. So the, uh, and how to become a, a member, you have to have a karate dojo or you run a karate dojo or run a uh, organization themselves okay and that way when they come they bring in their their dojo or their organization okay. to the organization to the rainbow kai itself okay and it sort of works pretty well sure. and I'm, I'm sort of picky and i'm not and i am I'm, I'm not i want to make sure it doesn't get too big yeah, right. because the bigger it gets the harder it is to manage and doing this kind of stuff yeah. so uh i try to keep it on a on a very very Personal basis, but people that I know that I, that I know it's going to work good. Yep. And and we got we got we got to know the person. Yeah. yeah but, so it yeah. works out pretty well. Yep. You know, and uh, and sometimes uh, even you know, it, it, yeah. it's yeah, pretty yeah. Yep. That's a difficult. Yeah, that's difficult. Yeah. 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 Yep. So okay. that's how it sort of works out. It's, it's worked out pretty well. You know, and uh, we're getting ready to have another seminar in August. In the states of 2020, 2020. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's gonna have, we're gonna have one in Michigan. I was, actually, I'm talking to the guy right now, okay. uh, Peter uh, uh, Carbone. Yep. Okay. Peter Carbone. Uh, Ringo Kai. Man. Yeah, he's Ringo part of Ringo Kai, Ringo. and he's part of my Ringo Kai, and we're all gonna sort of come together there, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we're gonna be putting out a flyer here real soon, mm -hmm. you know, about that, and and it, it's 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 a great thing. It, it's it's yeah. to me, it's the best thing that you can do is mm -hmm. having people. You know, not only from your own style come together, but from other yeah. styles come oh, to yeah. together. That way, you build a bridge. Mm -hmm. You know, and one thing that I like to say is uh, uh, a bridge to the future is really important mm -hmm. because we're all moving this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all moving this way. Mm -hmm. You know, the past. Now the past is very important, mm -hmm. but you don't want to live there. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's where we want to live mm -hmm. in the future you know and the present is is very short-lived right now the present is just gone now we're in the future again yeah. Yeah. so this is how i see it so every second we're living this way and my mode is 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 if i can open the door you know if i can train someone teach someone how to do something and they can teach me how to do something now we've learned mm -hmm. we've progressed you know, so now we've helped each yep, other. Sharing. Yeah, because nobody wants to, you know, uh, just give and give and give. You know, yeah, I don't mind. I want to. I want to do some taking too. <laughs> yeah. you know, hey, give me some of what you have. Yeah, that's that's why well. our our motto for the last um, seminar was "Be my sensei, be their sensei." Ah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so so that was a whole motto of giving and taking. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. When you ask for a yep. sensei, hey, can you be my sensei? I remember and then now you, you yourself, yes. it was be their sensei. I think I have it on my shirt. <laughs> 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 be my sensei, be their sensei. Okay. Yeah, yeah. there you go. No, this is another the, the, the way to say it. Be my sensei, and then uh, that's a t that we learned from sensei, right? Then in the future, I'm going to be teaching to someone that we, that, that, yep. that, that, that from sensei. So this is going to be all cir cool. you know, it's, it's circle. circle, you know, and the yeah. thing is, and when you learn, you have to teach. Yeah. When you learn, you know, you must pass the And Brandon, the this is from Brandon. Brandon had he 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 had, with a table, board. and yes. I, I had all my black belts said I, I I was sitting around. I said I, I need a good mantle, you know. I need something that we can sort of, 
you know, sort of be catchy and, you know, something that would hit it. So I had everybody sort of, you know, go home and write down something. I had some pretty good stuff. Then Brandon goes, I think, I think, what the yeah, uh, uh, right here, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. I went to the living room. Yeah, I said, yeah. I have a model. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you say that. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I, think, I think it's the band thing. That's the uh, musician. Yeah, 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 that's the yeah, musician. It just, it just clicks. Oh, yeah. a band name, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. I got a model. He's yeah, my sensei be their sensei. How yeah. easy is that? I, I, and you can make it in a circle. And I looked. Oh my God. Like Katie looked at me. I looked at Brandon. Brandon looked at me. I went, Okay. I love that it. That was about five said, minutes. I love it. I said, that's perfect. <laughs> you know, be my sensei, be their sensei. Because the thing is, Josh, at one moment in time, you ask someone to be your sensei. Mm -hmm. Please be my sensei. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you just don't walk in, you know, you say, oh, only, only gosh, my sensei. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, and you may not ask those words, be my yeah. sensei, but, but the intent is there. You know, only gosh, my sensei. Only gosh, my sensei. Be my sensei. I asked the words. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, then, then one day, like my sensei told me, now I need you to be their sensei. Exactly. Because you know why? A sensei cannot do it all. A sensei can plant the seed with, a, with certain people. He's gonna be gone. Then, then these people have to go out and help spread mm -hmm. the legacy, mm -hmm. so to speak. That's what a sensei, <clears throat> I'm always, the, 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 you know, even five, five years old, I'm, that's when he started, I give a sense, what's in my, my, if somebody t uh. didn't do the right way, I said, hmm, I don't think I'm a good sensei to you because, you know, my sensei never teach me that way. <laughs> so then this, yeah. you know, he said, <laughs> oh, no. and then I just look at him, and yeah. he said, that, that Mr. Kemi uh, learned from him, yeah. now, you know, I'm yeah. teaching to you. If I, you do that, that changing the, his kata, yeah. he's not gonna be happy because you know that you're not yeah. right to to change his kata. Yeah. And then that stuff like it. that, you know, mm. and uh, it gives the, the the little ones, uh, you know, plant the yeah. seed. Mm. They have to do the yeah. the right way, you know. So this is a really good place yeah. to to learn yeah. life. Yeah. And and as you know, you know, uh, for each and every one of us. You know, everybody we meet helps guide us. You know, as, you know, Cynthia Kina, you know, Robert Taylor, mm -hmm. you know, Roby Kirby from my first Sifu, you know, Sensei Toma, Sensei Tamaya, all the other senseis that sort of connected to us. Yeah. And not only that, I probably learn as much from my students as I teach them. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. I, I have a good core yeah. of black belts that I, I like I told him last night, I, you, if I had to pick people to be in the foxhole with me, you guys would be the ones I want to be with in the foxhole. So I know either we're going to either run together, or we're going to fight together, or we're going to die together. These are the people I want to have. You know, Brandon and I, you know, we, you know, we, we're tight. We're very, you know, we have a lot of fun. We love, we love the same things. We're always talking about fighting and the tournaments, and, yeah. you know, and the UFCs and this and that. He's and he's he actually he schools me on it now. He watches me, <laughs> and his man McGregor coming up here. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> hopefully, he, hopefully he does good this time. We'll see what happens. Uh, one thing that we should talk about is um, how are we doing on battery life over there, by the way. Are you okay? Yeah, he's right. she's got I, strong I'll get hand. That out, but, honey, yeah, you don't have to stand the whole time. I'm sorry. Has that stopped? Because I thought I heard beeping, no? Okay. So, <clears throat> last year, uh, last year, right? 2018 now, that's right. We are in 2019 <laughs> for three days. Yeah. Or 2020, we've been for three days. 2018, I always want to call it the World Tournament, but it wasn't the World Tournament. It was International right. Tournament, right? Yes, 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 yes. Somebody that I know gets through the first round mm -hmm. of, uh, of wow. Kobodo yeah. and... and had the great chance to keep going, oh but God. what happened? Let's talk uh, about it. Si si simple. It's a, it's a simple thing. Uh, lack of kata. That's about it. So you, um, our, the style that we did, what we're doing right now, we have um, Kihon Bo, we have Toma Bo, Tokumine no Kun, and Tokumine no Kun Nidan, and we have all Bo katas, but 
as a weapon, there's certain katas you have to do for tournaments by the book. And basically, I didn't have enough katas to do it by the book. So I got, I, okay, they're like, okay, they're like, okay, you're in the second round. And it was my lack of uh, studying the, the spec of the, of the tournament. They're like, you can't do the same kata twice. You can't alternate. But I was like, uh, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, is this my competition? My competition is it going to be the next thing? You're like, no, it's going to be like in two hours. I was like, oh, I was like, that's it, man. <laughs> and since Zaha, one of my one of our good friends, he's like, yes. I can teach the kata. And two hours, it's not going to happen. Two hours, yeah, two <laughs> hours. Yeah, yeah. But the, the thing is, then I just laughed at that. You know, I was like, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, kicked butt. Yeah, yeah. I, I kicked butt, and I was like, hey, and especially the guy that you know went all the way to the finals. I beat that guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I would have. And now, now yeah. I think about it, I was like, hey, you know, it's life. Yeah. And I, and hey, there's so always a the next yeah. time. You know. Lesson uh, learned. Lesson yeah. Learned. Lesson learned. But the thing is, we come into the world tournament, to the international tournament, very late. Super late. They super late. Because as as a local as a local um, athlete, our side should have been done. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should have been yeah, done yeah. already. But and, it was not enough. Yeah, it, 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 and they said they kicked off so much people. It was not enough people. They're like, okay, mm-hmm. there's gonna be a, like a, like a trial. Mm-hmm. So we were in the trials the last two months. Mm-hmm. We're like, so, we're like, holy crap. Okay, okay, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> so, do it. Do so, this. So, so, so why did you decide to do Cobra? Though? That's a very good question. That's what I'm saying. That is, because I know you had other people in your yes, dojo. Yeah. Kata. Yes, kata only. So I saw I saw a kata only, and I was like, you know what? what why not? Why not do something different? Yeah. Okay. But well, even okay. for the grand slam, he goes, hey, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can maybe knock yeah. out first, second, third, yep. and you know, just be in there. Yep. But then when he tied, that was the problem. Yeah. <clears throat> you know that was the problem when he tied for third. Yep. So now to break the tie, I had to do, do it that tie. day. Yeah. Well, but now we have fixed that problem. Sensei Zaha. Mm-hmm. Well, Gojuru. Yeah. Gojuru. Gojuru. Yeah. Really good friends of us. You know, we, we he always comes and... Yeah, we, mm-hmm. we love him to death. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so he said, well, I'm going to come down to the dojo. And we'll, we'll, I'm going to teach you. I, I, I Shushinokun. Yeah. Shushinokun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and that's, he came down, we taught it, and we've been practicing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it's part of our system now. Yeah, yeah. And actually, mm-hmm. we did Shushinokun in the performance last year. Okay. 2018. Yeah, you know. I'm 19. 19. 19, yeah. 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 So yeah, so that, that, that's, that, it was simple as that. Yeah. But my lack of knowing the book, by the book, and I was like, hey, I'll learn from it, and if there's a next time, I'm going to be ready. I think if you were in the finals, you could repeat the kata. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. But yes, if yes, you, the so first two, yeah. you had to choose something exactly. different. Yes, yes. You have to have two. You can't do the same kata. That, yeah. but you can I do think, it the third time. You can do it the third time, but mm-hmm. you're going to have something different yep. each time. So you had to do at least two. So that way, you're good to go. Hey, it was it was an amazing experience and Jesse yeah. Incap Sensei was there too. I talked to him. Yeah, and, right. Yeah, then he was like, Yeah, good job. He's like, Oh yeah, I, we talked and it was a great time. You yeah. were in the same age bracket. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I think yeah, I think he's only a couple years older than me. Yep. So. Yeah. So that's he who? Uh to Sensei Incap, Jesse. Just, just, karate, oh, karate nerd. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, really good guy. You know, of course everyone knows Jesse because he's oh, the, the karate nerd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. actually he, really yeah. nice guy. Guys saw the podcast. Yep, yeah. interviewed yeah. him, then he broke his bow. Yeah. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so you yeah. had yeah. 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 He did pretty well though. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was yeah. second place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think he should have got first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he looked first. Jesse should have got first, man. He looked very good and uh he took a off the shelf Sharedo bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Versus his 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 homemade one, you know. So that was good. Yeah. But you also had uh, in in kata you had some very good performers. Yes, yes. Um, you had a student there. that made it through mm-hmm. two rounds, three, three rounds, three, three rounds, three rounds. Yeah. Three or four yeah. rounds. He was going into the top <coughs> eight oh, yeah, or top yeah. four. He was already in that top eight, I think, mm-hmm. competing yeah. for top four. Yeah, yeah. 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 Gorgeous, uh, Gojo Shiho. He was doing. Yeah. That. yeah. And uh, brain fart. It happened. Yeah. 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 yeah, he was. Yeah, he was yeah. going. He, he, uh, uh, Kudaka Masaya, Kudaka Masaya. He he get he when he. When you put him in the spot, even in class too. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. when you put him in the spot, he's like, oh, you know, <laughs> he, he, he has that short, <laughs> short, yeah. short. Cut, 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 cut. I know. Um, from Messiah. Now, Messiah has been with me for a long time. He is forty-seven years old. He, he's been doing cut the way long. He's been with me since 15. he's fifteen. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was. He trained with Sensei Toma mm-hmm. down there, and of course, uh, we have a very special relationship with him and his family. They call us 
He went to the States and went to school in the States because he stayed with a candy sister. Okay. So, you know, it was a family, family, hey, let's get together. A sign needs to go to the States. It would be a good experience for him to learn English, go to school there, and you know, do, so karate. do karate. So, so in, in the States, with Robert Taylor, yeah. he lived with Robert there and, and did that for years. six or seven years. Yeah. Almost so, six years. Yes, wow. and did that. So, Pennsylvania. Yeah, then he came back, yeah. met his wife, you know, and he got married. Now he has three kids, and two of his kids is black belts with me. Okay. And one, the little one, Keitan, she's a brown belt with me. Three okay. stripes. Yeah, so she'll be making her black belt soon. Yeah. So, <coughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. Well, I'll well, tell you. Okay. After you, visiting your dojo four or five times now, Sensei, yeah. uh -huh. the, the, the stretching your teams that you push uh -huh. through and the, the always, always making body contact uh -huh. and everything, uh -huh. I'm not sure you're getting old. Uh, if you want to see something really funny, go to YouTube and type in uh, Toma Dojo 1991 and you'll see Messiah mm. holding Brandon. He's one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And here's Messiah he's holding him. Yeah. It's sort of strange wow. watching that now. Mm -hmm. Brandon now it's just, you know, kills everybody yeah. in the fighting. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> so, you know, it's sort of strange how it sort of yeah. flips wow. very quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if anyone is looking to find you mm -hmm. on Facebook, on uh, your websites, where can they where can they track you down if they're interested in, in seeing your dojo and meeting you in person yes. and training with you? Uh, best thing to do, I'm 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 really good with, with Facebook. You know, they can look at Rod Nick's Facebook, you know, okay. message me there or <coughs> if you're in Okinawa you know, can And you has a or um Facebook account too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our, yeah. So you can do that. But uh, we have our, own, you know, Miss Kimmy sort of has her own. You know, she sort of talks to a lot of people mm -hmm. coming in. That's what we pass out cards when coming in. They sort of call mm -hmm. Miss Kimmy sort of gets people. And right now so we have. They can do <coughs> a search for Ron Nix on Ron Facebook, Facebook or. Uh, Sado Khan mm -hmm. as well, right? Yes, they yes. might find a few different ones, but yes. they'll uh, yeah. find one with Yuko Sado Khan. Yuko Sado Khan. Yuko Sado Khan. Yeah, it means, uh, okay, of course, Okinawa Islands, Okinawa. Islands, Okinawa. Kokusai. Kokusai. That's two separate. Cool. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> well, this is my own personal organization that, uh, that's with Sensei Toma and passed, you know, and uh, right before he passed. You know, I was wanting to sort of establish another organization underneath Zen Okinawa, mm -hmm. sort of help bring, keep people together and sort of mm -hmm. make sure everything's happening, mm -hmm. you know, and sort of have a little bit of control there in Sisei Toma. You so could say that me, the, the, he, the Ronix. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's sort of do that now. Let's see. So, okay, now Zen Okinawa is Tomae. I don't know. Okay, I did not understand that. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's it, it was it's a sort of a different scenario, mm -hmm. and as you know, when a uh, you've seen it many times, when the sensei passes, yeah, a lot of dojo, a lot of organizations go through a uh, learning, a learning yeah. curve. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's good. Some many times it's very very bad, yeah. and I tried to, I tried to take a bad situation that was looked like it was going to be bad, and I turned it around and made it much better. I want to make sure everybody had a, a seamless, you know, from one master mm -hmm. to another master mm -hmm. with no problems doing this here, you know, and make sure that, that for, for one thing, karate was going to be taught, you know, it was going to be, you know, focusing on martial arts <coughs> and, uh, and, uh, and make sure that the, uh, you know, how sometimes, you know, politics gets in the way, yeah. this gets in the way, that gets in the way. So I want to make sure that wasn't going to happen. I like mm -hmm. training. I want to train, mm -hmm. you know, and that's because we even in Sebukan Karate, I, I make sure that, you know, even for the for the Ringo Kai, I make sure money is not an issue. Money is never an issue, you know. It, it's not about money. Mm -hmm. It's about training. Mm -hmm. You know, some people want to do about I want rank. Some people ask me, well, okay, can I get promoted? No. We're not about promotion. We're not about money. I want to train. So that's this to me. That's the, the secret of longevity is to keep it that way, <coughs> keep it nice and uh, clean. Mm -hmm. That way, people see exactly what you're getting. This is mm -hmm. what I'm getting. Boom, mm -hmm. bang, and uh, people like it. Yep. Yeah. You know, and right now, uh, Duke Cool, 
And uh, there's my certificate from Sensei Thomas State, so I could, uh, I had the okay. Shion Thomas certificate and his hot stamp in 2008. Wow. <coughs> <Right here. coughs> so I made sure I got, you know, the master's approval. Yeah. Yep. No, that's the number one thing to make sure yep. that the Sensei says he, yeah, he's good. When he's still here. <coughs> yeah. Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Very good. All right. Let's wrap this up, but so before we do, I just want to ask a few questions. <coughs> Mr. Kemi, favorite kata? Oh, favorite kata. Mm. Hmm. Or, okay. <coughs> karate or kobudo? <coughs> which do you, which if, what's uh, more fun to you? I like uh, karate. karate. Sensei? Uh, fighting? <laughs> yeah, I love fighting. <coughs> but, you know, my favorite kata is gojishio. Yeah, I, I sort of want to sort of do what I love to do when I'm doing okay. competitions in the world tournament. I did a world tournament, a couple world tournaments, so that's what okay. I like to do. That's your go to kata? Yeah, go to And before kata. you do that, the, why I like kata? It's uh, the. Uh, I do odori. Ah, yes, yes. Ryukyu odori, yes, yes. Ryukyu odori is, you know, very similar to the, the kata. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that, that's what I, how y you can uh, you know the uh, just uh, just like language you know how to use you know when you see that you mm -hmm. can tell munkai you know you mm -hmm. can tell the munkai and uh, how we do kata you did this you just did the dance before no no no, no. way after, after. after. actually actually that Josh I started with 58 years old okay. Mm -hmm. She always loved looking out. I dance. always liked the kata. She always played around with it. Kata, yeah. you know, the, 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 I never went to the dojo to learn yeah. uh, odori, but I always interested about the odori and watch and then uh, interested about it. Then when you, when I do kata, and uh, you know, if instead of do kata, then uh, yeah. to make it on odori dancing, mm. I said, hmm. So. Uh, that I just created in my mm -hmm. head, but uh, the, when, when I was uh, almost 60 years old, I said, you know what, something is missing. I, I, I do a lot. Karate, taiko, you know, the being with here mm -hmm. is a lot of time to take, uh, mm -hmm. spend. But in me, that I be honest with me, said something is missing there, here. And I was thinking then, I. I realized it, this is it, and then I said, you know what, it's time to go. Then I I started going to the dojo, Odori, and every, you know, two, Busy. three days, she's two, like three the days baby. a week. She's like the baby. You know, she's very young. Yeah. Oh, I'm <coughs> the baby really? one. Yeah. I tell you, uh, I'm six, almost 64 this year, you know, but uh, the, 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 the uh, for uh, Okinawa dance, I'm baby. Oh. I mean, just uh, like a green bear right now. Yeah. You feel it. <laughs> but even, even age-wise, I mean, you got yeah. 85 year old. Yeah, but uh, so last, women are very deep, tough. deep, deep, so odori is deep, 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 like karate. Mm. Now, after I did the odori dancing, my kata is. I tell you what, more tasty. Yeah. I can, yeah. I, I can taste here, taste yeah. there, and crunchy there, crunch, you know, yep. the cut through the, the why the, the, this person made the sesam? I could almost tell why. Oh. Mm -hmm. Because of the dancing too, because it goes around the, 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 the wrong mm. way to, 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 I get to, to this way, it, it took me a long way to, to get to, to this way. Mm. Mm. And, uh, but, I'm glad I did because you know kata was that you know our things. Mm -hmm. Odori is my thing. Mm -hmm. Nobody gonna do my way to do the, the kata now. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love kata. This, this is very it's like nice. hand in hand. Yeah. 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 So Odori dancing. Mm -hmm. This, you know, back you know, like in the old days. Yeah, just a little thing. Movie. Just a little thing <coughs> that you hook. You know, I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> okay. When you do that, that you know, kachashi, kachashi. Mm -hmm. You know that doing the kachashi is like this, and do the kachashi. You think it is you know kachashi is doing just the odori with the music, but this is a tweety. You know, grab you mm -hmm. and throw it, and grab this way and throw it, and this leg here. And when you do this, looks like you just the the dance, but this is what 
kicking. Protection. Yeah. So Okinawa, this is Okinawa history. You're not allowed to contact. You're not allowed, allowed to, to you know, fight. Mm. But you there for defense. Mm. So how to ask to be practiced? Do the auditory dancing. And then we just do the auditory dancing and going down, 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 down auditory dancing. That's the how we get built to the, our, you know, uh, oh, skill. Yeah. That's what the odori, you know, the, doing this odori, and uh, this is the tree. Then this is, you know, a block. All the things in into the, the Okinawa odori. Mm, very good, beautiful. And then fan, fan, tung ten, tung ten the fan. And okay, we we. Do the, the uh, dancing, but as soon as someone tries to contact me, close it to do the weapon. Mm -hmm. It's there inside, you know, mm -hmm. kimono, fan. Then we dance with the fan, but when they come, close it, weapon. Mm -hmm. And the kampu, <coughs> you know, the, yes. the, the kampu, yes. the, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we call um uh jifa mm -hmm. jifa that's the jifa it's like a knife like a big hair yeah. hair pin big hair pin like it's like, it's like a dagger mm -hmm. and then yeah. the, just to hold my hair hold my hair but the okinawa people always prepare for okay we're not allowed to have a katana to to fight but if someone come Yeah. It's a fight on West for the night. Sensei, you better watch out. Obi too. Obi. Obi. Uh huh. We the 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 why you uh, shiro Obi kiro Obi. They wear the Obi. The Okinawan, of course, it's a kimono, so you just close it. But the Obi become. That's everything is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. We're going to set up a second interview just yeah, for yeah, you. For, for wow. Part two. Wow. Part two. Fantastic. Yeah. I want to come watch you dance. And <laughs> she's good. She's very good. good. She, wow. she dances a lot. She, dance, she does a lot of dance. I like to dance. Yeah. yeah. My auntie, her oldest sister, was doing dancing longer, but then ah. she sees her dancing, she's like, eh. Oh, I because got karate, I because of karate, I, I did all my life uh, until 2023, 20, no karate. Mm -hmm. But when I met this guy here, because him, I, wasn't I, I get to draw on my culture. Mm -hmm. I, would, him. I wish my wife was here to, to hear this. <laughs> 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 because of him, he, he, he let me be uh, Okinawan. That's fantastic. Yeah. My wife asked me one day to teach her in the Hansha Shodan. Mm -hmm. I said, why? Because it's part of my culture. Mm -hmm. I've been telling you to come to the dojo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do the dojo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, this, this is uh, really... That's why when I do Odori dancing, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about karate too. Ah, this one, that he, this and all days, because they cannot do fight mm -hmm. back and all that. Uh, so that's how defense, you know, mm -hmm. you know, punch, pu get punch here, you just do, do punch here, then you just do it, you know, and uh, defense, Sh movement. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh -huh. so talented. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Favorite kata, <laughs> Kobro, uh, Kumite, uh, uh, kata. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love I love fighting. That was always my thing. But uh, as a kata, I think that I, I always depended on even on in tournaments, even when I was smaller, or if I'm older. Seisan was always good. Yeah. Yeah. A go-to. Yeah. It was always my friend. Yeah. It's like if I'm in a tight spot, yeah. Seisan. is always there. Yeah. Always back in Seisan. Yeah. If every time you. you as our style, we learned it in the, in the green belt. Well, as some styles, you know, they they learn it later on. But you know, I was doing this since I was eight, nine years old, and even until now. I'm 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 gonna be thirty this year. But it was always that that's a solid one. I can go back to. It has more history to it. I have I have 
walk you through it. it yeah. I have. He knows who I am. The kata knows. I know what the kata is. Is always a mm-hmm. a bad and wrong yeah. thing kind of yep. thing. So yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, this was fantastic. Hey. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Josh, we love having you. Really, really ah, appreciate it. Thank you, thank thank you, thank you so much. Josh, thank you. So we will come back yes, yes. and we will do the dojo yeah, yes, yes. sometime. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and, and, and do, do the filming. Thing yes, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, next Monday so we on the uh, the uh, you're picking it back up next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, next week. Okay. So. Yeah, we are too. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, 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 we'll get a date. So. Okay. Gotta get yep. my guys back in shape. I know after two weeks. Oh. No, we take two week break. Two week break. We yeah. need two. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it, two weeks. It felt was really nice good this year. Yeah, it, it was, was a good yeah. two week break yeah, this yeah. year. Actually, it wasn't much of a break though because you're so busy. I know yeah. we were so oh, busy. Yeah, busy. Yeah, they were, I'm thinking, uh, man, we're going to. She, she was she was sick for three days straight. Uh, three days straight. Four days. Yeah, four days. We got lucky this <laughs> year with it, but. You I'm not for me, I'm thrown up. I was throwing up. I, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a 60s thing. <laughs> so you guys are young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.